All right, guys. So besides just producing your own variants, uh, I believe you guys just started your own website. So uh, can, we, can we talk about that a little bit? And yeah, absolutely. So we often on the channel, we talk about, we have our channel sponsor, Frankie's Comics, and some other channel partners that produce exclusives. But not only that, there's a lot of other retailers out there that are creating exclusive variants. And you might see it on Instagram, but a lot of times you'll see people after the fact going, hey, I wasn't aware of this cover. I didn't know who created that. I didn't know who that artist was. We found it would be beneficial. We created exclusivevariants.com to have one website that showcases all these retailer exclusives in one centralized location. So you can see it by whatever retailer, whatever artist, all that's out there, all that we're available that we can find right now, we're putting up on exclusivevariants.com, whether uh, unknown, uh, big time collectibles, uh, th there's a bunch of them out there. We have a whole bunch of different retailers by publisher, by artist. It's just, like I said, it's a website that showcases retail advance because I think retail advance are becoming a big niche in the hobby. We've talked about it a lot on this channel, but we also have the images up there. We, we name the print runs that we can find that are available. We name the price. And if it's available for more than one retailer, we usually try to put that in there as well. Yeah, so like Brian said, like we really wanted to be a resource for the comic collecting community. Um, and like kind of to give you, Kaylin, the origin story of it, um, you know, we kind of mentioned earlier about like our, uh, we talked about our variant production. Well, in the process of that, our partner had assigned me a task and he assigned me uh, the task and tried to like reach out to websites to try to get them to talk about our variant. But Having come from a comic collecting website in the past, I kind of have some experience with the way they view exclusive variants. And on top of that, we had recently had an experience where our channel sponsor, Frankie's Comics, had a comic that had become extremely successful, Star Wars Adventures, Peach Momoko, Yoda variant. Um, it was selling for multiple hundreds of dollars, still is. And the websites were reporting it, but they refused to name the store. And I know intimately how hard the work is that goes into creating a variant of any sort of quality. And I felt bad for our sponsor that he had created this collectible that was so successful, so, so penetrating in the secondary market that so many people were loving, but that you know it wasn't getting name recognition. It didn't get name recognition from the website that we used to write for. It didn't get name recognition from the Key Collector app. Um, and then their YouTube top 10 show. So it was, it was kind of a problem. And, you know, it was one of those things where I realized that since they don't feel comfortable covering that area of the market, somebody needs to. Because as Brian said, it's an area of the market that collectors have deemed worthy. Whether or not speculators or investors like it, collectors are looking for these unique cover art, these unique collectibles for the, the books that they like. And it's giving a lot of artists a lot of work. And on top of it, it's, it's kind of vital to the sales of the hobby. Because if you look at the amount of store exclusives that are sold throughout comic publishing, it makes a major difference on the overall sales. Um, so it's, it's really doing a lot of positives in the hobby. And a lot of the negatives were from the early days when there was a lot of funny business that goes on. And there's still some funny business that goes on, but there's nobody reporting on it. So who's going to police it if nobody's reporting on it? So I, I really had this night, and I, I'll tell you, Caitlin, comics will keep me up at night. And I had this night where I was laying in bed and I just was really frustrated and I couldn't figure it out. And then it hit me. Like, what if there was a website that only talked about that? And uh, I thought about, I come from the sneaker industry, the website hypebeast.com, which they will regularly talk about exclusive sneakers coming out in this store in Miami or this store in California. And it, those sneakers are the most desired sneakers in the industry because of the exclusivity of them. But in comics, we almost look down on these exclusive items. And I think that that's just a perception thing. So we wanted to really show off these unique organic artisan kind of collectibles that are created between the artist and the retailer and the publisher as kind of like this collaborative thing. And at the same point, as Brian mentioned, we, we saw this kind of hole in the hobby where a lot of people weren't getting the information. So they were upset because they were missing sale dates and books were selling out and Nobody was telling them where they were. And they, you know, the, the publishers, they're doing the best they can. The, the retailers, they're advertising through typical advertising channels, but 
you know, you don't have an unlimited advertising budget and you can only do what you can do. And people are still not going to see that information. So we wanted to create kind of like a third party resource and Brian named some of the features, but we've also, as we go, we're going to develop some more. So like I mentioned, like we've got an experience in website publishing with it's in the comics industry. We're going to, we're adding features. Like we've got a great top five artist list that'll go up monthly that actually our very first top five artist list. We had, the very artists on the list reach out to us uh, in appreciation. And that's kind of the thing that we want to do is, and it's not our personal kind of like picks of our favorite artists. It's we're trying to highlight the artists who are doing work on exclusive variants that are getting the most attention. Um, and then we also covered back issues in, in exclusive variants, which is another thing that oftentimes people will talk about the book, but they won't mention where it comes from. And not only did we mention like when, the Miles Morales Secret Wars variant was spiking from Heroes Not Hard to Find. Not only did we mention where you could find it, we gave you a link to the sale of the book, which was going cheaper than the current eBay value. So we're trying to help out everybody. Um, and we also covered all the unique places that exclusive variants come from. So including other YouTube channels, like we talked about the Comic Time 101 Mystery Mail Call. Um, we want to really cover every basis. Uh, and in doing that, we will have also created a platform for ourselves to be able to talk about our variants. And now I, I kind of feel like some of the best business ideas are ones where you there's, you have a need for something and it doesn't exist. So you then create it. <coughs> Excuse me. And I also wanted to say like, we'll put, if you have an exclusive variant, we have a platform to showcase it for you. Just, we need to be told about it because right now we're going out searching putting up the information right. we find. If you have an exclusive variant and you want the free advertising and it showing up on that site, just email us at support at exclusive variants.com. Give us information. We'll gladly put it up there for you. Yeah. And on top of like getting your book out there and, you know, letting people know about the print run and the sale date and getting them that link, we'll do that for free. Absolutely. But I also want to let retailers know if you'd like to advertise on the site, we have banner ads available the same email support at exclusive variants.com um we have we can talk about banner video ads those types of things that are available to you guys that's awesome uh personally i feel like this is definitely a website that a lot of collectors myself included are going to be using the heck out of because i know how irritating it is to see on instagram or on ebay like weeks later that something is just like a $200 book when I could have gotten it for $20 on a cons website or at this website or here or there, you know, and it's, it's, it's definitely frustrating to have to try to catch those after the fact. So to be able to get them when they're coming out or even like to know in advance, fantastic job guys. Very. I will exciting. say also not, not just the website, but make sure you also follow an exclusive variants on Instagram and Twitter because there's some stuff that we get the information ahead of time. We put it up there before we can actually get the article created on Absolutely. the website as well. 